welcome to the recon trader in today's video i will show you how to set up and by the end of the video how to deploy a free pionex bitcoin grid trading bot now if you're not familiar with pionex they are basically an exchange that offers 16 free built-in trading bots i think their objective really is to be the exchange with the most trading bots available and they offer those bots for free now with that being said you do still pay the exchange fees for the trades but that is typical of any grid bot platform you are responsible for the fees and it looks like their two most popular bots are their grid trading bot and their arbitrage bot now if you want to see me create a video on their arbitrage bot drop your comments in the comment section down below and i will consider deploying their arbitrage bot but today we will be focusing on the grid trading bot and as i mentioned you can see that you do pay a 0.05 percent fee and if you configure the bot correctly that fee is pretty much nominal and really won't have much of an effect on your bottom line now, if we start to do a little bit of recon on Pionex, you can see security-wise, they have been operating safely for 857 days. They are basically one of Binance's biggest brokers, apparently. And if we jump over here to CoinMarketCap, you can see they have a 24-hour volume of almost $2 billion. So they are doing quite a bit of volume. And then you can also scroll down through the actual coins they offer and see they offer a variety of tokens that you could deploy these grid bots on or trade manually. And as far as operation in the U.S., they have acquired their MSB, their money service business license by FinCEN. And definitely don't take my word for it. You do need to do your own recon, but you can jump over here to the FinCEN website and do a search by their legal name of Pionex. And so you can see they have a few different certifications under the Pionex name. And if you click on one of the links, it will pull up the actual certification for Pionex. And so you can see they've done their work in order to be legal in the U.S., but with that all being said, you definitely want to do your own recon as Pionex is a custodial exchange, meaning that you send money to them and they have control of your keys. And that's not much different than the other exchanges out there that we use on a daily basis. However, in the world of crypto, there is the saying, not your keys, not your crypto. So never send more money than you're willing to lose to any platform. So now we've done a little bit of recon. Let's get into the weeds of setting up one of these grid bots. Now, the first thing you will need to do, obviously, is you will need to open an account with Pionex. And I will leave a link in the description down below so you can give that a click and get started with a new account. After you sign in to your new account, you'll land on a screen that looks something like this. Again, you will need to send crypto to your Pionex wallet so you can click here on deposit or under your user, you can also choose deposit as well. That will bring you over to a screen that looks something like this, and you could copy and paste your USDT wallet address, and be sure that the address you copy, in this case USDC TRC20, which is on the Tron blockchain, I wanna make sure the wallet I'm sending from is also able to send from the Tron blockchain. If not, then I might need to choose the ERC20 and that would be the ethereum blockchain so just make sure that matches up when you copy and paste these addresses to send funds now after you complete the transaction you can see your deposit history and you now have funds available for trading and so now we can just click over here on trade and that will bring you over here to the trading dashboard. And one of the key things I like to see is the chart they're using is TradingView. That's the charting software that I use. So that will be familiar to me. And a huge benefit of the crypto world is they do include the level twos with your order book and the actual transactions. It's amazing that in the stock trading world, this is still not included in all of your platforms for free. But in the world of crypto, you have access to the level twos if you want to do some manual trading you would just come over here click on manual and the trading terminal is set up to buy and sell with limit or market orders or grid buys now we are going to configure a grid bot so i'm just going to give that a click and you see the list of those 16 free trading bots now the one we're looking at today is going to be grid trading so i'm going to go ahead and click create 
and that will pull up the configuration page for their grid trading bot. Now, before we get too far into the weeds on configuration, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually operates, a grid bot is made up of open limit orders. There are buy orders and sell orders. And so the bot will buy the dips on the way down and sell the rips on the way up for profit. And so each one of these grid lines, when the price hits one of these green lines, it executes a buy order and as the price goes down it continues to buy that dip as it hits these green lines which are your open limit orders on the flip side when the price rips up and it starts to cross these red lines the bot will sell for profit as those orders are executed and so the idea behind a grid bot is to buy low and sell high so Pionex offers the option to basically just use their AI strategy and it will basically fill in your upper and lower limit for you and it will show you the profit per grid after deducting the actual fee and based on those parameters it gives you a back test annual return for a seven day period of 84 percent now that's annual not seven days you'll earn 84 percent over a one year period based on a seven day period back test but today we will manually configure our own settings so we just click on manual setting and for my lower price I typically like to go somewhere around prior support and if we look back on the chart over here we can see support around this 54,000 level so I will just put in 54,000 for my lower limit and then on the flip side for my upper limit I like to look at prior resistance and the prior resistance right now on the Bitcoin chart is going to be around the most recent new all-time high which is 67,000 and so I will give the bot a little room to maneuver and I'll take that up to the 68,000 level and if it's not blatantly obvious at the moment I have selected BTC USDT to deploy this bot on however if you give this a click you can see they offer a wide variety of assets that you can trade on and it doesn't have to just be USDT. They offer leveraged bots, but we'll do that in a different video in the future. So you might want to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. Today we are going with BTC USDT. And so now I have my pair selected. I have my lower and upper price. So now I need to select the number of grids or open limit orders. And I am going to start with say 30 grids. And by selecting 30 grids, my profit per grid after fees will be 0.61% to 0.79%. So there's a bit of a range. And the reason there's a bit of a range is because if I click down here on expand, and that is because the grid mode, which if you look down here at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, is set to arithmetic versus geometric. Now arithmetic mode means the price difference between grids are the same, like one, two, three, four. Geometric mode means the price change between grids are the same in a percentage. And so the arithmetic is designed to work best with a bullish market. Right now, Bitcoin is fairly bullish, so we will go with the arithmetic for now. Next, I need to give this bot some ammo, and in this case, I'm going to give it 500 USDT. And then you do have a couple more advanced settings, and one of those options is trigger price, and that basically means the bot will not launch until that price is met. And so I could have my trigger price at, say, 60,000, and at that point, the bot would deploy, or I could say 64,000. Now, I would typically maybe go somewhere in between the middle of my grid, so that would put it around 60,000. However, I want to get this bot deployed, so I will not actually be selecting a trigger price. Now, stop loss you certainly want to have a stop loss if you're trading a lot of the altcoins however since I am trading BTC I am willing to hold BTC for the long term so I won't actually deploy stop loss in this particular case I do not recommend that for beginner traders and then take profit price same idea if the price goes up to a certain level I could then have the bot stop and capture that profit but in this case, I'm willing to let this bot run and continue for as long as possible. Grid bots to me are more of a long-term strategy. I prefer to just kind of let them run as long as they're meeting a profit target, which I 
typically shoot for 1% on altcoins and half a percent on assets like Bitcoin and ETH. So in this case, as long as this bot is achieving about a half a percent profit per day, I will let it continue to stay in the fight. Slippage control is a way to control your initial buy. When I deploy this bot, it is going to have to buy some Bitcoin in order to fill those sell orders on the way up. And this could help you control what price you get in at. Again, I'm not going to set that to anything. I'm just going to deploy the bot and get basically a market order for my Bitcoin that I need to deploy this bot. And then your investment type, if you actually held some Bitcoin over here on Pionex and USDT, you could select both. And then you might not have to go out and buy Bitcoin at a market price. It could use your current Bitcoin along with your current USDT. So you could select both. I only have USDT, so it's USDT only. And so that's pretty much it. This bot is configured and ready to deploy. I have my lower grid at 54,000, my upper grid limit at 68,000. 30 total grids with a profit range between 0.61% to 0.79% after fees. Uh, total investment is 500 USDT. And then the grid mode is the only other parameter that really applies, and that's on arithmetic. So this bot is ready to deploy. So we click here on create. Now, because my investment is fairly small, they suggest I switch over to MBTC instead. However, I'm still going to use BTC as that is what I am familiar with on all the other grid bots I've deployed over the years. So I am going to stick with the traditional BTC. Click OK. Next, I get the parameters confirmation, tells me my initial allocation of Bitcoin versus USDT and the grid range, the number of grids, the profit per grid and my investment. So that all looks the same. So we'll click continue. And now you can see that grid bot is starting up and it looks like the grid bot has been deployed. If we come over here to details. You will get all your details for your bot as, as far as profit or loss, your grid profit, your unrealized profit, and then your total profit. The total profit will basically be your grid bot plus or minus the unrealized profit. And you can see over here on the right hand side of the screen, you can look at your placed orders, the transactions, the actual parameters. And then it looks like you can also release profit. Now I will do an update video in the near future on the performance of this particular bot. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. And while you're at it, you might want to spike that like if you like this video and feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Pionex in the description down below. And that pretty much wraps it up. So remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.